Shalom, shalom everyone. I salute you all in Jehovah mighty name. I come in peace. I greet you all, whatever your time may be. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. God bless you all. This morning I have come with the word of God. With the word of God in Psalms um, 5 from the verses 3 to 7. So dear brethren in Christ Jesus, as we all know, it is very important to give your life to Christ Jesus. As you step out, as you are stepping out this day, this morning, as you are going to bed, some of us, we are, our day is already going to an end. Let's just use this opportunity to thank Jehovah God Almighty for his goodness and his mercy. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do, it doesn't exist so. He can never ever exist. Oh. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do, it doesn't exist. So oh. he can never ever exist. So oh. of course, Jehovah God never lies, he never fails, he never changes. He will remain God Almighty. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to thank you for this moment. I give you all the glory, honor, thanks, and adoration. We praise your name. We glorify your name. Lord, in your mercy, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this moment. We call upon you to come and be with us, Lord God. We stand in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we soak ourselves from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet with the blood of Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit of God. Have your way, ancients of this. Have your way, the great I am that I am. Have your way, Lord God of hosts, Emmanuel. Father, Lord God, go ahead of us. Take your lead, Lord, in your mercy. Begin to touch us. Begin to deliver us. Begin to redeem us. Begin to protect us. Fill our spirit with your spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jehovah mighty name. We have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Brethren in Christ Jesus, I want us to use this opportunity. Open your book in the book in your Bible, in the book of Psalms, Psalms um, 5, from the verses 3 to 7. Psalms 5. From the verses 3 to 7, I read, O oh Jehovah, in the morning you will hear my voice. In the morning I shall address myself to you and be on the watch. For you are not a God taking delight in wickedness. No one, had, no one bad may recite for any time with you no boasters may take their stand in front of your eyes you do you you do hate all those practicing what is hurtful you will destroy those speaking a lie a man of bloodshed and deception jehovah detests as for me in the abundance of your loving kindness I shall come into your house. I shall bow down towards your holy temple in fear of you. This is the word of the Lord. The word of God is uh, mainly reminding us here in the book of Psalms, um, Psalms 5, from the verses 3, that God is with us in the morning. We are going to give ourselves to him, who we'll commit our life unto him. God is on his throne. God watches everything. God sees everything. So my brother and sisters in Christ Jesus, as you are stepping out this day, as you are already out or might be preparing to go to bed, Lord God, even though you are still sleeping, let us begin to pray and call upon the Holy Spirit of God to be with us, to guide and preserve us, to protect us from the hands of the witches and wizards. To protect us from the hands of Satan the devil. Let us pray. Let us pray for our children. Let us pray for our kids. Let us pray because the Bible said we should pray at every given point in time. The Bible said we should pray without season. We should not we should not slow down in our prayers. Because the moment we slow down in our prayers, the enemy is going to take charge. The devil is going to take charge over us. That shall not be our portion. Whatever situation you have you find yourself or you are passing through, just rejoice and give thanks to God, for God is in control. 
I want to encourage someone this day, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, that with God all things are possible. Because even the Bible said in in First um, Thessalonians five, verse sixteen to eighteen, it said, "Rejoice always, pray continuously, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus." Hallelujah! Rejoice and always give thanks in every situation you find yourself, for God is alive and God is God. Let us pray. Let us pray and thank God for our lives this day. Let us thank God for our families, our children, our spouses. Let us thank God. Let us call upon the grace of God upon our life. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, we want to thank you for this moment. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this hour. I thank you, Lord God, for your grace. I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Father, it takes only your grace and your will for us to be alive, for us to sustain this day. A lot, many are not opportunity to see this day, but by your grace and your glory, you are with us. Father, receive for your glory, honor, thanks, and adoration. Thank you, Abba Father, for preservation, for protection, for direction. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us begin to pray and ask God for the forgiveness of our sins. Let us plead the blood of Jesus and ask God to come with his blood to watch us, to clean us, to purify us and make us whole again. As we go to bed, as we step out, as we continue our day, let us call upon God Almighty to and, and submit our sins because we are flesh and blood we are bound to make sins let us pray lord in your mercy father lord god we come to you as flesh and blood as human beings holy spirit of god we pray that may you search us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet if there is any means that we have committed sin no or no may you please forgive us father lord god watch us with your precious blood of jesus christ purify us sanctify us and make us hold again in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the same spirit let us continue Continue to pray that as we step out, may the Holy Spirit be with us. May the Holy Spirit go ahead of us. Even those of us that are sleeping, let us pray that may God Almighty be with us to, to bless us, to protect us, direct our steps, direct our dream, be with us in our dreamlands, give us victory, give us a victory in the hands of our enemies. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Lord, in your mercy, we stand in the blood of Jesus Christ. This minute, O Lord God of hosts, I pray to your children, to those those that are stepping out, they start their day, this, they, 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 they are stepping out this morning. Father, I pray that may the angels go ahead of them, guide and protect, protect them, preserve them from the hands of the evil ones, protect them against any a foreseen accident, untimely death, premature death, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, to those of us that are going to sleep, I pray that may you guide and protect us. We cover ourselves, our dreamlands with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we stand in the blood of Jesus Christ. We stand in the gap of our children, our spouses, our brothers and sisters. Father, let your will be done. Let your mercy come for us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we are praying. Let us begin to come against every demonic gathering, every demonic word, every demonic pro, pro, uh, pronouncement that has been made over our life during the day, during the night, during the week that is going to work against us negatively. Every negative energy, let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus and come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, we begin to come against every demonic gathering, every demonic word, every demonic powers, every demonic assignment. Lord God, in in our lives, our children's lives, our marriages, our finances, our job site, our businesses, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, every evil arrow from the pit of hell assigned to us, assigned to our children, to bring us down, to cause us pain, to cause us sickness, accident, untimely death, premature death, we release the Holy Ghost fire and the thunder from above, we send it back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit of God, every demonic word that has been released against us, us, been in last year, this year, last night, this moment, Father, we stand in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will begin to reverse every evil word, every unclean word that has been released against us and our children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, Abba Father, so that our enemies will be scattered. Arise.
Christ, Abba, Father, let our enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the same spirit, begin to stand in the blood of Jesus and come against every demonic altars from your mother's household, your father's household, and shares altars. Lord God, that has been working against you, altars from your husbands or your, your wife family. Lord God, that has been standing on your way. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus and come against them in the name of Jesus. Come against every evil shrine, every demonic coven, every occultic gathering that has been working against you, the ones you know, the ones you don't know, begin to come against them with the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, this minute by the mercy that raised Jesus from death, we come against every ancient altar, every demonic shrine, every evil coven, whatever instrument the enemy have been using to monitor our life, every monitoring spirit monitoring our children, our destiny, our finances, our marriages, our relationship, Lord God, our our, our, our homes, we come against them with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, in your mercy, I come against every demonic altars, every ancient altars, every shrine that has been working against us, we release fire and thunder to consume and destroy this minute in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the same spirit, begin to pray that whatever chain the enemy has hold you bound for years, whatever way the enemy has locked you, every closed doors in your life that has refused to open, the Bible said that God has given us the power and authority to decree and declare and they shall come to pass. Begin to speak to every closed doors, Lord, in your life that has closed and refused to open. Begin to speak to those doors. Begin to speak to your destiny this minute. Lord, in your mercy, I begin to commit your children unto your hands. I come against every closed doors that has refused to open stubborn doors in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, begin to move mightily. Have your way, Holy Spirit of God, and begin to open every positive doors that have closed in our life that have refused to open in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, in your mercy, there is nothing impossible for you to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way. Take your head. You go ahead of us and we'll begin to speak that with the Egyptian we see today, we shall see them no more in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Begin to speak to your health. Begin to speak to your children. Begin to speak to your finances, your job, your business this minute that may God begin to bless and open doors in the name of Jesus, whatever demonic powers, whatever demonic world that is working against you at your job site, your business, your finances, begin to come against it with the blood of Jesus. Because the Bible says right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered a violence and only the violence taken it by force. Lord, in your mercy, we begin to commit our businesses. Lord God, our finances, our job site, our career, our studies unto your hands, that may you take control in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, in your mercy, give Give us the grace to overcome Satan, the devil, and his works, to overcome so witches and wizards and their works in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We commit our jobs, our businesses, our finances, Lord God, our careers into your hands, our studies into your hands, that may you have your way, Lord God, make a way when there seems to be no way, direct and preserve us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every demonic powers working against our job, working against our businesses, our finances, we come against them this minute in the name name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our finances, our businesses, our jobs, our our studies, our careers, by the mercy that raised Jesus from death. Arise, Abba, Father. Arise, O Lord God, so that our enemies will be scattered. Arise and let our enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be praised. Let your name be praised. Ebube Jehovah Rapha Shamano. Oh, ya mamo, oh, ya mom, kelebi yo. Idi ebu be Jehovah Rafa shamane wo. Oh, ya mame, oh, ya mom, kelebi yo. Approve me, Lord. Identify yourself in me. So that all the giants that stands on my way be defeated. 
Amen. Begin to sing that song and ask God to approve you. Begin to come against every giant that is standing in your way, every mountains, every hills that have been standing on your way in the name of Jesus. Lord, begin to approve us Lord, right now, Lord God. Approve your children. May every giant, every mountain, every hill that have been standing on their way go down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, Lord God, I speak to everyone that is in chains. At the same way, Paul and Silas gathered at this same moment, this same hour, they prayed, the prison door fell, the chains of their hands were broken. Father, I pray that anyone that has been in darkness, in chains, in torment, in sickness, in suffering, Lord God, I pray that, Lord, may you move mightily this night. May your mercy locate them, set them free from every chains, set them free from every prisons, set them free from every sicknesses, set them free from every bondage, set them free from every long suffering, every torture, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God of hosts, you said there is no no nothing impossible for you to do your word has never lied your word has never changed your word has never disappointed arise my father this minute have your way over the life of your children for those that are weak father i pray for strength for those that are down i pray that may you hold your hands and lift them up for those that are disappointed i pray lord god that may you may you give them courage in the name of jesus in every department of their lives oh holy Spirit of God, move mightily, O Lord God. Father, to those that have been praying for years, for months, for weeks, and they are discouraged, feeling that you don't you don't hear them, you don't answer them. Arise, O Lord God, and give them the reasons to testify to your glory. Give them your children the reasons to dance to your glory. Give your children the reasons to praise your name. Lord, in your mercy, we know no other God except you. We recognize no other God except you. Father, we begin to come against every nation negative energy, every negative energy, every frenemies around us, those that are beside us, killing us, but they pretend to be friends, Lord, expose them. Lord, in your mercy, as we begin to pray this minute, we pray for vindication. Vindicate us on our job site. Vindicate us in our families. Vindicate us in our marriages. Vindicate us in our relationships. Vindicate us in our neighborhood. Vindicate us in our community. Vindicate us everywhere that we need to be vindicated. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, in your mercy, let your will be done. Answer your name in a bigger way. Answer your name in a new way. Father, we pray that may you begin to turn us a new leaf. Turn a new leaf, a new page, a new beginning, a new dawn, a new season in our life. Lord, in your mercy, most of your children are disappointed. They have been praying. Some of them are tired. Most of them are turning and taking another route that does not glorify you. Father, rest your children children wherever they are and redirect their steps in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we look up to you. I look up to you and I glorify your name. Open the doors and windows of heaven this minute. Shower down your anointing and your blessings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Windows of heaven are open. The power of God is coming. The Spirit of the Lord is here. He will baptize every soul. Windows of heaven are open. The power of God is coming. The Spirit of the Lord is here. He will baptize every soul. The promise is for me and the promise is for you. We shall receive power when the Holy Ghost shall come. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your prayers, over your answers, because Jehovah God Almighty has done it. Unless you believe, you will never see the goodness of God. Unless you believe and trust in God, you will never see the works of God. Plead the blood of Jesus over your answers. Plead the blood of Jesus. Just begin to thank God that he has done it. He has done it mightily. He has
has done it again in your life. Thank God that he has saved you from accident. He has saved you from timely death. He has saved you from the house of the witches and wizards. It is a new dawn and a new season and a new beginning. Father, we thank you, Lord God of hosts. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. It is a new dawn and a new season. It is a new song, Lord God. Father, we are going to glorify your name. Thank you, Lord God, as we plead the blood of Jesus over our prayers, our answers. Have your way, O Holy Spirit of God. Go ahead of us, O Lord God. Pave a way for us. Make every crooked way be straight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you for this moment. We glorify your name magnify your name. I praise your name. I thank you for giving us a grace, Lord God, to connect. Lord God, for you said the moment we connect to you in spirit and in truth, you are with us. Father, you said the moment we call upon you, you will answer us. You said the moment we look up to you, Lord God, you will direct our steps. Father, we are looking up to you. We are calling upon you. Have your way and go ahead of us. Take control and remove everything danger, every trap in on our way. Whatever pit the enemy has ducked for us, Father, may they begin to fall in their own trap in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Receive for your glory. Receive for your honor. Just begin to wave your hands and thank God for he has done it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Now, nah. If I have ten thousand tongues, it will still won't be enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. You have done it already. You have done it. We believe and we trust you. We trust in your word, for your word has never lied. Chokuna kwamza when you heal, you heal completely. Na rekele mo. Chuku na kwa mi mo. Izi yikendule we say. Na rekele mo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you have done so much for us. We have, You have done so much for us. Father, we cannot count it. Father, you said from this day we'll begin to count our blessings and we will name them one by one. Lord, in your mercy, have your way. Lord, in your mercy, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let us begin to direct our steps in the hands of God. Direct your step. Direct the steps of your children, your spouse into the hands of God. Father, we direct our steps into your hands. We direct our going out and our coming in this day. We commit it unto your hands that may you take charge. Father, you said you are going to place the angels, Lord God, to catch us wherever we fall. Father, you said you are going to direct our steps in case we dash our feet on the stone. Oh, Lord God of hosts, let your will be done. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just, just be praying. Father, put a new song in our mouth. Give us a new dance to dance. Give us a new song to sing. Give us a new testimony and a new beginning. Lord God, for this year, 2023, is a year of divine manifestation. It's a year of thanksgiving and praise. It's the year, Lord God, of testimonies. Father, Lord God, we look up to you. We pray. We, we wait unto you, Lord God of hosts, for we have been waiting, we have been praying, Lord God, crying unto you, but we know that you are not deaf nor dumb, you, don't, you, don't, you are not blind, you see our tears, you hear our cry. Father, come to the rescue of your children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done it well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi has done it well. Come and join me, come and join me, sing hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done it well. He has done it again. Come and join me sing Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done it well. I will lift up his name higher. Oh, I will lift up his name higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, I will lift up his name higher. Oh, Jehovah, Alpha and Omega, I will lift up his name higher. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Share this prayer. Pray, pray with faith, trust, and believe in God. Always trust and look up to God. Always call upon Him at all time. He will remain God. His word will never change. He will never lie. God Almighty sits on His throne. He sees everything. He knows everything. Just believe and trust in Him and it is well with your soul. Shalom everyone as we meet again. May the peace and the grace of God be with you all.